everywhere. You can actually see them. Like, well, I suppose you have to just find one. But there are so many of them. Have we found one yet, Craig? Okay, if you go towards the back of the pond, if you go straight back there, yes. If you go, we'll go zoom in all the way, there are a whole lot of them. There's one. And you see those two? It actually looks like there's two of them. Now I'm going to sit very quietly so you can listen. And well, what you are watching at the moment is of course mating, mating bullfrogs. Isn't this exciting? Now there's various different ways that uh, frogs will mate. And well, he's latched on nice and tight. Actually, we're going to change the view. Can you see this big one just down here? Um, so just in front of the, I want to show you the reason why. Go down a bit. There we go. Watch that one because it's calling and you can actually see its vocal sac expanding. Look at this. How amazing is this? Now frogs and toads and all these wonderful things are probably my favorite. I think I may enjoy them even a little bit more than elephants, but don't tell the elephants this. But now these are most likely all the big males. And you can hear them all calling. And what they're doing is that they're singing their beautiful song, hoping for a female to choose them. And if you listen very carefully, you'll notice that the males do not call over the top of each other. They call in between each other's calls. And now this is called time sharing. Can you hear that? So basically what time sharing is, is as they're calling, calling in, be in between each other's calls, they're not being disrespectful to each other, they're not sort of shouting over the top one an and of one another. Everybody gets a turn. Oh my goodness, now look at all the action, just up on the, straight from that frog, if you go to the back, look at all of them, they've settled down again. Look how they're all coming out searching for mates. Now these bullfrogs, they would have buried themselves underground. Look at this. This is like a breeding frenzy. Searching for a mate, trying to find one. And if we're lucky, we may even hear a loud yelp. Because sometimes what happens in these sort of uh, frenzies is that a male may grab another young male thinking that it's a female. Do you think they're chasing each other around? How cool is this? This is the most amazing thing I've seen in such a long time. Ah, it's so cool! You can see that looks like a couple of big males, how they've bloated themselves out. This, this is now my highlight for 2016. I've had such incredible sightings over the last few days, but this is my best. I've been waiting for such a long time to see something like this again and I didn't get to see it last year. And I don't know what's on top of the water but you can see there looks like these, I don't know if those are eggs, sort of in between those two big bullfrogs you can see there's stuff sitting on top of the water. Can you see those? Little, they look like little pearls. Now I'm not sure from this angle, I have to probably get out at some point and investigate. But I suspect that they could be the eggs from one of the other frogs. And you can tell which one's the male and the female. You can see these males are sort of much bigger. Their ridges on their backs are a lot more prominent. And they seem to have a sort of more green underside. Now, Bree, you're wondering how big they are. Uh, so th these ones aren't particularly large, but a bullfrog can get probably smaller. I'm trying to think. If you take two tennis balls, let's do that. Take two tennis balls, put them together. That's probably the size of these frogs at the moment, and they can get a little bit bigger than that. I've seen some massive ones. But that whole entire frenzy that we're seeing in the distance is just absolutely spectacular. And you can just see how the, the water is just moving around, filled with life. I actually want to see if I can roll a little bit closer. Oh, 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 oh. 
Right, we'll have to stop. Oh, there's one running across the road. You might have to be quick to get that one. Look at that. He's out. Now, it's actually really funny when they do sort of hop along the ground. There it goes, boom! <laughs> and dive straight back into the water again. Let me go forward a little bit more, just so we can get a really cool view of these frogs. Don't worry, I won't go in. I don't, as much as I love the frogs, I don't know if I want to really go swimming with them because I don't want to be confused as a frog. That would be terrible, don't you think? But you see how they've all come together now? They found the best spot in this wetland area. 